What's the craziest we, robbery you've ever did, like dressed up wise and masked? Like a, you ever dressed up as some some like a woman or anything to get into a bank? No, I tell you what, I was for a while though. The newspapers when I was doing them on my own when I was on the run, they were calling me the city gent because I used to dress in a suit, Hugo Boss suit, bowler hat, carry a briefcase and go in and just a pair of glasses and just open up my briefcase on the counter, take the shotgun out and go right, fill the briefcase. So in the papers they were calling me the city gent. Um, but the funniest, some of the funniest things happen when you're doing robbery that you cannot account for. I, I was doing one one day, and my mate's filling the bag, and I've got about 20 people up against the wall of a bank, and I've got a shotgun, and I'm like, that. hurry up, hurry up. A mask there, right, standing in front of them. And I noticed that one of the fellows who had his hands up had a, a really nice watch on, a Rolex. So I've gone to him, oi. <laughs> so he's looked over me, yeah, they're a Rolex. So he went, yeah, it is. I went, is it a real one? He went, yeah. Well, let's have a look. And he's got to take it off. I went, don't take it off. I said, just show me it. So he's turned it around and he's trying to I said, I don't want your fucking watch, mate. I'm here to rob the bank. You know what I mean? I don't want your watch, <laughs> which I didn't. You know, I, didn't, I wasn't there to rob people. I was there to rob the actual institution. I can't believe a stupid bastard said that. Yeah, other says no. Yeah. But another funny one, I've had loads of funny ones. I walked into um, a bank up in Fort Neath when I'd done the free in the day and I went, right, everybody on the floor. Everybody went on the floor, about like 10 people. And one guy's still standing there, a black fella still standing at the counter, like with his arm on the counter, looking at me. I went, did you hear me, mate? I said, get on the floor. He went, I'm a yardy. He said, I don't get on the floor for no one. <laughs> Just walked up. I went, get on the fucking floor. I'll blow your head off. And he went, all right, I didn't think you were serious. <laughs> Another time I've walked in, on my own again, pulled the shotgun out and pulled out a plastic bag, threw it towards the counter and went, fill that meaning the cashiers, there's a guy on the other side, on the, on my side of the counter, a customer, takes the bag and starts emptying his pockets into it. I went, not you, for fuck's sake, give it to the cashier. <laughs> when I get the money away and I pull the bag out, there's a comb, a bus ticket, <laughs> like three pence in change and all sorts of weird shit. Another time, uh, robbing on my own again, up in Streatham, I walked in, had the shotgun, uh, I had a rifle, a two-two rifle cut down, overcoat on, I've walked in, I went, right, and I'm trying to pull it out of my coat, and it's caught with my coat. Everybody up the end of the bank, so about 20 people have gone to the end of the bank, quite far away, and it was all marble floors. So I eventually went like that, and as I pulled it, the gun slipped out of my hands, and the rifle has slid all the way across the floor. They're standing there like that, and it's landed at the geezer's foot. <laughs> and I, I don't know what to do now, and I'm standing there like that, and I went... Kick that back. And he went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> He's kicked it straight back. Can I have I picked it up? Yeah, I've picked it up and I went, right. So that's it. And another time, I've got, I've, there were so many of them. I've got into a, a bank in Croydon and I've got all the people up against the wall and all the cashiers have ducked down behind the counter. So I'm shouting to them through the, through the hatch, through the, the, the hatches. And I'm going, if you don't come up here and start putting the money up, with him, the count of three, I'm going to start fucking killing your customers one by one. And I've heard from all the customers, <gasps> and I've looked over them, I went, like that. And they're all like that, looking at me. But these can't see me, the yeah, cashiers, yeah, yeah. they're down behind the counter. I said, one, two, and, and the customers are all like that. I went, three. I said, see you lot, you're a bunch of fucking wankers. And I said, see you lot. I said, don't bank with these people no more. They let you get killed for three grand behind the counter. And I just walked out. Mm -hmm. But what's the most you've ever had out of a bank? Um, I think it was 48 grand. We used to do a thing called the um, the reserve game. We knew someone, this is why we robbed Midland Banks, because we knew someone who had a relative in a Midland Bank who was giving us information, but they didn't know they were giving us information, if you know what I mean. And they told us, we found out that what the Midland Bank done, instead of robbing the security van, which most people do, Wait till the security van delivers and the cash goes into the monthly cash goes into the cashier safe underneath the counter because the vault's on a time lock. And that has got a key. So if you can get them to open that, you know, you can get the money over the counter. That's what we used to do. Wait for the van to go straight in. Who's the head cashier? Now they're not expecting it. Yeah. I am. <laughs> open that fucking safe under there and give me the money. They're shocked that you know. Boom, you're getting packets of money out, sealed up. That has just been delivered by a security court. Was there any was there any jobs you look at and think I'd love to have been on that job? Like the great train robber there, the Brinks? 
or uh, you'd like to have been involved in? They all kind of ended in, in, in sadness, really. I mean, when you look at all those big jobs that, that were committed by... The bigger the job, the more chance of getting caught. Exactly. Except for one. One job that was absolutely fantastic. It was planned by Billy Hill, who used to be the king of the underworld, 1952. It's called the East Castle Street Post Office Robbery. Roy Shaw was involved. Um, he got away. Everyone got away. They robbed the post office van of... I think it was £238,000 in cash in 1952, which is the equivalent of about £17 million pounds yeah. a day. And they got clean away. They had a fight with the police, got clean away, and the home office, like Winston Churchill was the home secretary, and every day he wanted a report on what was happening with his East Castle Street post office robbery. Nobody ever got nicked for it. You know what I mean? And that was it. It was the biggest robbery ever. And no one even got... It's only now, these days, that people know who was on it. You know what I mean? Nobody knew at the time. But that was Billy Hill. He was a master planner. 